towering home with endless views in Arizona to an elegant townhouse in Manhattan to a sprawling California cattle ranch. Lee Camping Carter from our mansion team is here to tell us which one wins the crown of the WSJ House of the Week. Lee, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Very interesting home, the very first mm -hmm. one on our list in Arizona, 124 feet high. Right. Uh, it's 10 stories tall, one of the tallest in North America. And uh, the owner is actually an architect, and he spent about eight years designing and building this place, built it like a chimney for energy efficiency, and it's actually heated and cooled with um, passive solar technology. Fantastic, I, I'm sure the views are just stunning. I saw some pictures where you could see the hills of San Francisco from Arizona, <laughs> which, is, miles away, right? which is amazing. And this one is a little under three million, so. 2.8. 2.8, .8. Yep. there you go, gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. views. And then you can see also on the top floor, uh, there's windows on the ceiling, so you can actually see the sky from your bedrooms. A unique home indeed. Yeah. All right, moving from Arizona to Manhattan, we have this townhouse that just mm -hmm. underwent an incredible renovation. Right, so this is 12.5 uh, million, it's in the West Village, and uh, it was, you've got these kind of rich colors, deep textures, designed by Fernando Santangelo, who uh, did the interiors of the Chateau Marmont on Sunset Boulevard. Um, and uh, a couple interesting features, this double height, great room with floor to ceiling windows, um, hand cut Venetian terrazzo tiles on the floor, um, also lots of marble. It has velvet. a very dark, rich palette, doesn't it? Exactly, yeah. And then there you've got a renovated basement with a screening room, and there's also wine storage uh, in the basement there. Lovely, indeed. And then you have this sprawling California cattle ranch with a lovely Victorian home. Right, yeah. So the owners of this one actually built the home in the 1990s, but they wanted to make it as close as possible to a Victorian house from the 1890s. Um, so they went to Marshall, Michigan, which is full of 19th century architecture and uh, kind of, I guess, read up on, you know, all the, the different things they could do to make it a Victorian house. It, it's so funny. It's a brand new home and it looks perfectly Victorian. Seven, over 1,700 acres, too. This is huge. Right. Huge. Yeah, just about 1750. And um, they, there's also five ponds on the land and um, they planted thousands of trees and they actually raised cattle there as well. So. All right. I have to say, this one is my favorite. I mean, that's just <laughs> stunning, all of that land. Which one did the viewers pick? And that we should say that was eight million. Um, very close, but actually the tall home. They uh, they picked the tall by home. A few votes. There yeah. you go. All right. Well, certainly unique. Thank you so much, Lee, for Thanks that. A lot.